methane gas leak in U.S. history. And now a new report released today shows what caused the 2015 Aliso Canyon gas leak. I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm not happy. The report completed for the California Public Utilities Commission found that the gas leak was caused by a highly pressurized and corroded casing wall that ruptured on October 23rd, 2015 in the hills above Porter Ranch. But the report also blamed SoCal Gas for a long list of failures before the massive leak. In the report, Blade Energy Partners says the utility didn't perform risk assessments on the wells, that previous failures weren't investigated. Casing wall thickness inspections were not performed or required at the time. The well's flow rate was underestimated. No surveillance was in place at Aliso Canyon, and the pipe only had a single barrier protection casing. SoCal Gas has responded to the findings, saying in part, in Blade's opinion, there were measures, though not required by the gas storage regulations at the time, that could have been taken to aid in the early identification of corrosion, and that, in their opinion, would have prevented or mitigated the leak. They should be held responsible for something that they, you know, neglected to do for the public. Monica Sanchez lives in Porter Ranch. She remembers when more than 100,000 tons of methane gas was released into the air her family was breathing. I used to get a lot of nausea, a lot of bloody noses, a lot of, a lot of coughing. Many residents say they still feel the effects of the massive leak more than three years later. After the findings were released, a small group of people stood outside the utility company's gates, calling for a full shutdown of SoCal Gas tonight. It's about health above all, and the only way for this community to have health is for this facility to go away. And just to clarify, they want a full shutdown of this facility here in Aliso Canyon. But as you can see, SoCal Gas has brought out some security guards and also put up those barriers just at the front of the entrance of this facility. Now, there are more than 300 pending lawsuits against SoCal Gas, many from residents in this area. We've reached out to the lawyer that represents some of those cases. They say they plan to hold a press conference sometime this weekend. That's the latest from Porter Ranch. Let's Back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, Leslie, thank you.